tomorrow on Home and Family. Emmy-winning journalist Nancy O'Dell shares her big life changes. And everything you've ever wanted to know about actress and comedian Jane Lynch. Hey everybody, welcome back. As you know, Halloween is right around the corner and today Marie is adding a touch of festive fun to our homes with her DIY spooktacular tablescape. Now Maria, I'm afraid, I'm not sure I believe you that this is DIY. Isn't it chic? It I, looks you know, like you went to a store. Yes, so that's the whole point. Listen, I think when we think of Halloween, we become consumed with all of the things that are already out there and they look very Halloween-y. We yeah. have our oranges and this and that. And so what I thought would be really fun is to make something really elevated and very chic as well. I mean, I know that this is, looks kind of fancy, but it's very easy. You'll be surprised at the items that we're using. And I feel like this is worthy of the Matheson home. I'm telling you right now, here's the thing. Maria knows that we love to decorate for Halloween outside the house, but I have to step up my game inside. So this is perfect for me yes, for this year. I and think we're so going to start with our napkins and making them spider web. Yeah. So obviously when that's such a great way to add kind of like that little extra touches just with the napkins that you can see here. I have a plain napkin here. Try to find the ones that don't have any kind of designs on them. Okay. Okay. So then the, the trick is just to kind of divide it properly so that we get our spider web. So fold it in half and then we're gonna fold that again. And so you could just measure and do math if you were Cameron Matheson, yeah. but since I don't want to do that, I'm just gonna grab my marker here. So this is a, a fabric marker, a black one, but truthfully, you could use a Sharpie or any kind of permanent marker as well. And then what I do is I just actually mark a little bit here and then a little bit on the inside sort of to create that cross so that we know how to divide and conquer. So exactly where the middle is. It's actually what Maria doesn't know is what she did is geometry. <laughs> it is math. She just figured out the center of the square. Yes, I did. And then you use a ruler, and truthfully, you can do this kind of freehand too if okay. you don't have a large ruler like this. So the first thing? Is uh, do your, sort a of like cross. a cross, yeah. like that there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is then when after you do your, your cross, then you're gonna do corner to corner. So starting there, and it is super helpful if you, uh, if you actually iron your napkins ahead of time, just trust me on this one. And because we are using fabric markers, you'll be able to wash these afterwards as well. So there's kind of like, you know, that's now, how far along are you? I'm very focused. I'm hyper-focused on you're my, hyper, are you right You're now? doing a very good job. Thank you. And so I am going to show you how to start doing the actual web effect, if okay. that's cool. I'm catching up. You're I catching will up. be there soon. Okay, so I'm not going to wait for you. I'm going to no, no. <laughs> I'm go no, ahead. No, no, go ahead. Okay. You're not supposed to so wait for So essentially me. what you're doing is you're making little, like, U's. So go like this. And I like to do the full web first. And then I follow up just by doing one side. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I like to do this first. And then I will do like here, here, and here. And I will follow up with, with each square after like that. So then you continue to go through and you can match up. So then when you go over here, you're matching up as well. So you're going through and doing that. And it's really simple. I will show you. My spider may have been a little bit like, you know, I don't want to say tipsy when he did, when he did the <laughs> spider web. But it's a little bit off, but I'm getting the idea. But you see, and here's the thing, like you can always make it a little off center too because not all spider webs are the same, That's you right. know? Like this and one. And so there we go. This That's one's a little asymmetric, like. but listen, it's, I'm off to a good start. You we are doing amazing, Cameron. All right, it's getting to be a spider web. All right, we've got our <laughs> napkin done, or at least Maria does. And yeah. now we're gonna do it with the uh, napkin ring. Okay, so for the napkin rings, you can take just a paper towel holder yep. that Great. we have here, and whatever kind of black uh, ribbon you have around. So depending on the thickness of this is how much we cut of this. So I just kind of line it up. Got it. And you want your uh, paper towel to be cut just so a little bit smaller than what your, oh, I did, yep, just like that. A little bit smaller than what you want your ribbon to be. Okay? Very good. So then I take my glue gun and roll it up and cover it and then just cut off the excess and then you just put your little spider on. So these little spider guys are glittered, but if you find any that are not glittered, you can just uh, add some glitter to them. And nice. that's it. And you know what, by the way, by putting the, um, by making the, uh, the paper roll a little bit smaller than the uh, black velvet, it makes it look like it's kind of wrapped around the corners like It this. does, it looks very finished. In yeah. reality, you did a ribbon in a 
paper towel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool. And then did you put the spider on top? Yeah, you, you put did. the spider on top. I'm still lagging behind. This is embarrassing. I've done okay. this before. Here. We have to make sure we talk about these goblets because I, I saw these and it reminded me of Haunted Mansion at Disneyland when you're going through that ride. If anybody. Yes, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. In order to really set the tone, we obviously have our place setting here. You know, going with the black and white theme, we have our black chargers, black, black fates, but the sort of feast de resistance, we have our goblets. So you can see here, they actually have little guys in them like this. These are terrariums. And so I, you can, if you can't find good goblets like this, just find some plastic ones that you spray paint silver and then pop the terrariums in there. They also make little ornaments like that too sometimes that have the opening in the front and put some moss in there and then you have your little spider decor and then kind of make sure you're going with some different textures so you can see this is like a cheese black cheesecloth that you can get at the stores too and you weave it in. I have some of these like little skulls that I glitterified because I have to. And so just add some uh, black glitter onto those and some candles and you have just this, oh, and our little bats. I was gonna say, you have to tell us about the bats. So the bats are really simple. So I actually got these online. They're a few dollars online. And I just uh, used the tape that they came with and taped them on. But the whole point of these is it's like a little bit goes a long way in the sense that they're going all the way up to our sticks that we have here. So adding that height that look like they're flying away. These are sticks we got in the backyard, spray painted them black, and then just added the bat onto so them. so good, Maria. It's so much it's, fun. It's, you know who else is so good? Me with yeah. my napkin <laughs> and my napkin ring. I mean, I'm just telling you right now. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. This is amazing. I can't wait to bring it in the back. <laughs> full instructions. Head over to hallmarkchannel.com. Coming up next, I'm going to show you how to take your workout to new heights, I promise. Come on back. <laughs> All right, it's, it's a half-finished napkin, but I got the it ring done. It takes a little bit of time to do it.